20 most disgraceful moments in snooker history. Kicking off with number 20. A match between Ronnie O'Sullivan and Gary Wilson took an unexpected turn when a disruptive, drunk spectator started bothering the players. The referee promptly intervened, ordering the spectator's removal. Excuse me. Stand this up on me. I'm down. Get this guy out. He's to go. Martin. Out. This one. Here. Yeah. Moving to number 19, tensions reached a peak as Ronnie clashed with referee Martil during the 2022 World Championship final, firmly insisting you saw nothing. I'm not Judd. Nothing to do with Judd. At number 18, Tensions flared once more as Anthony McGill accused Jamie Clark of intentionally obstructing his line of sight. It's no big deal, but if you're in his eye line, we'd be free to be on that side. Leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. It's good. Don't see the side of it, just stand there. Shifting to number 17. In the English Open final between Selby and Breckel, referee Tatiana Wollaston took swift action, calling security to remove a disruptive fan who shouted, causing a distraction to Selby mid-shot. Yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately that gentleman's going to have to leave, isn't he? Security moving in. Taking things to number 16, Ronnie O'Sullivan stirred up a bit of controversy in his face-off with Dave Gilbert, making a gesture that landed him in hot water and prompted disciplinary measures. Well, that was a sloppy one, though. That is a very rare occurrence for O'Sullivan. He didn't really think about the black in the edge, concerned with the red, so... I to say that he didn't put... Arriving at number 15, Elliot Slesser reached his boiling point, venting his frustration by hurling the cue ball. It was evident that the snooker table wasn't in his favour that day. Ascending to number 14, adding to the escalating tensions, O'Sullivan and Ali Carter unexpectedly collided during their match, intensifying the fiery atmosphere. Climbing to number 13, after Mark's audacious display, Kurt Mafflin's temper flared at the World Championship. After missing a 147 shot, settling for a score of 105. Oh, Ascending to number 12. In the aftermath of the earlier tense encounters, Ronnie O'Sullivan faced scrutiny for a shot in his semi final against Mark Selby. Oh. Just catch the edge. Yeah. Huh? That's got to hit it. It's just a ridiculous shot. Absolutely ridiculous shot. It's, and he's presented Mark Selby, somebody who was under it. At number 11, Mark Williams exhibited remarkable skill by clearing the table with his eyes closed. Meanwhile, Hawkins couldn't conceal his reaction, his face portraying sheer disbelief mixed with a hint of resentment. It is needed. But in the end, not in the pain. Before we move on to number 10, please be sure to subscribe to our channel. At number 10, 
Mark Williams captivated viewers with a one-handed escape during the 2022 Bet Victor Northern Ireland Open, facing off against Mark Allen. Moving to number 9, Hossein Weifei threw a bit of banter Ronnie O'Sullivan's way before their showdown, humorously remarking that O'Sullivan is such a nice person when he's asleep. Whose mouths are, whose mouths are we trying to shut? Uh, Ronnie O'Sullivan? Yeah, please. I was quiet, I thought I was respecting him, and I, was, uh, I saw so many people in the interview, so many people, something like that. And he's very really easy, he's, just, he's such a nice person, and he's asleep, so... Arriving at number 8, after O'Sullivan's theatrics, an emotional Wilson fluked a critical green against McGill in an epic final frame, securing an unexpected victory. He's interested here. Where's this green heading? Please tell me he's not fluked it. Please tell me he's not fluked it. He has, and he can't believe it. And nor can Paul Anthony McGill. On number seven, in an unexpected twist, world number 57, Zhang Ander, pulled off a surprising upset against the top seeded Ronnie O'Sullivan. But tonight is Zhang Ander's night. What a performance. Where's O'Sullivan? O'Sullivan has had no answer. A big upset on the fourth evening here in Brentwood. The seven times world champion Ronnie O'Sullivan is out of the hands of Zhang Ander, who's played quite brilliantly. The world number Ascending to number six, Ronnie O'Sullivan's frustration boiled over after missing an easy green. He couldn't contain his annoyance as he tossed the rest onto the floor. Be absolutely enraged. Oh, Sullivan, absolutely enraged. Sullivan had one foot in the quarterfinals, and then that, the mystery, the rest. Taking things to number five, Rianne Evans opted not to shake hands with Mark Allen at the beginning of their match, underscoring their history as separated ex partners. Mark Allen and Rianne Evans are going to be doing this place here this evening. Shifting our attention to number four. In 1997, the Masters final between O'Sullivan and Davis was interrupted by a fan. It stands out as a notable instance of unconventional behaviour among snooker audiences. Arriving at number three. Continuing after getting snookered, Luca Brussel attempted a challenging banana shot. Frustration led him to propel the cue ball with his cue. I have a snooker behind the angle. Luca came to the table and he's faced with a snooker. He's going to have to swear with this. If he gets too much, he can go in off the green, are we? It was impossible. That. In fact, the. Uh, Following O'Sullivan's controversy, Jimmy White missed an easy green, briefly losing his temper and tossing the rest aside, only to calmly replace it moments later. Jimmy. Concluding with number one, a protester spread orange powder on the match table. Meanwhile, another would-be disruptor was thwarted, resulting in a temporary halt to the match. For more great snooker videos, click on the screen now.